with the Grand Prairie in Mississippi to the east and cowboy territory to the west with Texas, Arkansas, pronounced Arkansas, not Arkansas, sits in its own little paradise which excludes its inhabitants from that fast-paced urban life that you found surrounding their borders. If you want to learn more about this beautiful gem, natural habitat, and incredible landscapes, stick around for this next video. Now, as I just pointed out, it's impossible not to talk about Arkansas without talking about its nature. It's so famous uh, and the landscapes are so well known that it's actually called the natural state of the United States. It has a lot of different forested areas, national parks, prairies, hot springs, mountains, valleys, rivers, lakes, anything you can imagine to explore while studying in this beautiful state. They include dozens of hiking trails, of rivers to visit, of biking trails for people with different levels of skills when it comes to mountain biking, uh, has cliff tops for beautiful landscape views, has amazing sunsets, and when it comes to the fall season, has amazing change of colors on those trees. So please be sure to check out this beautiful natural park, which oftentimes goes unnoticed in the maybe bigger scheme of things when you look at Yosemite or Yellowstone or the big you know name brands when it comes to national parks this one is definitely or should definitely be on your bucket list now when you look at the educational scene you're going to notice very quickly that the predominant player in Arkansas is the Arkansas State System. It basically controls the bigger and more well-known universities across the state limits, uh, as well as a few community colleges and a few specialized higher education centers. Now the flagship of this system would have to be the University of Arkansas at Fayetteville. It has 23,000 undergraduate students. It is the largest when it comes to the size of the school. It has amazing majors, a long list of majors to choose from. Um, and you can also get to have that campus vibe at Fayetteville with a lot of different sporting events, social events, um, or clubs to take part in. If you're an international student that also wants to feel engaged with the student body, don't worry, there's a very active student body on Fayetteville. It even has more than 100 countries represented on campus. So you're never gonna get bored of meeting new people, talking to new uh, you know, different societies, different cultures, different people from around the world. Now, if you wanna look at other centers as well that might have that brand recognition, you also have the University of Arkansas Little Rock, you also have the University of Central Arkansas, um, or Arkansas State University. But as I referenced before, those will be smaller in size than um, compared to the larger Fayetteville campus. Uh, but you will have a beautiful spectrum of majors to choose from, master programs as well, and a job market that is definitely enticing its students to stay within the Arkansas limit. And that's right, Arkansas is deliberately and actively trying to keep its students once they graduate within the state limits. And there's many reasons for students to consider this as well. Keep in mind that Arkansas right now is roughly 15, 14.7, nearly 15% uh, below the national average when it comes to cost of life. So that also impacts the uh, purchasing ability of these recent graduates, whether that's buying a home, a car, savings, etc. It's a very enticing reason why to stay in Arkansas. As an international student, this will definitely entice you as well, since the cost of, expend, of expenses and the cost of life and tuition overall are going to be well below the national average. Now, the easy response to all of this will be, well, Aaron, that's because there's not that much going on. That's why the cost of life is so cheap. And that's why nobody really wants to live in Arkansas. And while that historically might have been true, it's not true in today's economy. Quite the contrary, we're seeing an influx of new companies, new employees, and new businesses popping up across the different cities and, and, and larger villages in Arkansas. For example, we have several Fortune 500 companies already in the state limits. We have Verizon or Walmart setting up their new 
H uh, HQ or headquarters in the state of Arkansas, and with good reason, with a slower paced life, with affordability for its employees, and an overall ease easiness when it comes to the federal tax and uh, individual tax uh, components that are within this state, it makes sense for a lot of people to think of Arkansas as their new destination. Specifically, those that want to perhaps get away from the hustle and bustle of bigger, larger cities. Like we're seeing, for example, Californians leaving the state limits for more tranquil areas, like for example, Idaho. Now, to hone in a little bit more on that student-led activities or what can a student expect when studying in Arkansas, you can pretty much expect anything uh, similar to any other state school or, or larger school or smaller school across the US. You have a very engaged student body, you have great sports on campus, football is a very big passion for the state of Arkansas, you have wonderful opportunities when it comes to the outdoors, music, festivities, festivals, um, or for example, the open markets are all a big component of the Arkansas culture. And on top of that, you also get this small state feel, small village feel, the community uh, led activities, a spirit of, of unison, which also has been one of the biggest attractiveness of this state and why a lot of people want to have that in their lives. So if you're the international student that isn't interested in just going for an experience, but rather setting up uh, networks, contacts, building something meaningful when it comes to the people that surround you, Arkansas will definitely give you that. And you're not sacrificing that many other things. You have great communication with neighboring states. You do have several international airports within the state limits. Overall, you have wonderful connectivity to always be close to perhaps larger cities while still enjoying the benefits of smaller communities. The last thing I would like to point out is also the weather conditions. Arkansas does uh, have favorable seasons, so I would say it has a four season year. And in those four seasons, you can expect to find warmer weather and humidity uh, during the summer, as well as colder and perhaps snowfalls during the winter, but overall a very mild um, uh, temperature increase or decrease throughout the year. You're not going to have drastic changes like you might in Colorado or in Arizona or, you know, colder states like Minnesota or North Dakota or South Dakota, Wyoming or Idaho, but you will have, um, you know, colder temperatures during the winter, beautiful fall seasons, amazing springs and hot but humid summers. Now, if you've liked any of this content and maybe sparked some interest when it comes to the state of Arkansas and you want to learn more about this beautiful and magnificent state and perhaps see how you can make your studies happen in this state, then please go to the description of this video. On that description, you're going to find a link that will take you to an online form. Fill that form out in order to get a free consultation with an ePro360 expert. And on this consultation call, we can better assess your profile, your desires, your needs, perhaps other states that might appeal to you as well, and start that journey of studying in the United States today. If you've liked any of this content and you want to see more of it, then please smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, activate your notifications, and that way any future content we create, you will be the first one to know. Until then, thank you very much.